So, why do you guys think there's nebulas outside our galaxy? How long does it take for the moon to go through all the yeah. phases? Just the vision that you guys have for your model right now. Can you guys imagine how big this is in life? Why can't we have a picture of the Milky Way galaxy? All right, so YAA is Youth Astronomy Apprenticeship. YAA is an after-school program where youth between the ages of 14 and 19 can come and learn about astronomy in a safe environment using computers, hands-on models, and online telescopes. What you're gonna be doing is we're gonna take you through a bunch of activities. And we're gonna take you through the solar system all the way out to different galaxies. This image right here of the Whirlpool Galaxy shows a perfect example of a spiral galaxy. Well, in YA, I started at an after school site. Do you agree? Yeah. After that, I became an apprentice in their summer program. That are like 10 million degrees Kelvin. We create outreach projects so that we can teach the rest of the community about astronomy. All the um, parts of this nebula that are free should be attracted by this filter right here. Following the apprenticeship, I, I guess you could say it was promoted to an intern. They asked me to be an intern, and I was like, I would love to be an intern but they made sure that I understood that being an intern comes with more responsibilities. Who would like to be the first group to go? We do, we do. Green group. That was the thing that I actually wanted to do because I like facilitating activities. I like getting people to points where they say, oh, now I understand. But the interns are not there to like, drop information in people's heads. The question is what you think, you know what I mean? So it doesn't have to be a perfect number. You don't have to use the ruler. We are trying to help people make personal connections and observe things in their environment and come to their own conclusions because that's what science is. Why you see all the so why don't we put all three flashlights with the colors called. and put it there to it see if it works? That's an idea, write that down. Once you get the flow of how to conduct an activity, it really just flows easily, you feel more confident, and you get your message across much better. Exactly, thinking outside of the box. Now that's one thing that we really want you guys to be keen on while doing this activity, is thinking outside the box. So what I've learned as a facilitator is everyone is going to have different connections at different times. And that's why it's very important for us as interns to present things in different ways. What we're looking at is an image, it's like an image of our galaxy. So if we could like escape and look down on it. The tour of the universe is a hands-on activity that we do in the after school program. It's supposed to help them understand what a model is. So can you, t can anyone tell me how wide our galaxy is? On this scale, like using this scale? About 60, 50. No, I want you to think about it. Like, how would you figure that out? Well, scale is also a big hammer to the head, where it's like the universe is huge. Andromeda is the closest galaxy to us, the closest galaxy. So tell me how close the closest galaxy is to us. Yeah, that's a big number. 2,600,000 light years. Exactly. The closest galaxy to us is 2,600,000 light years away. So if I tell you something is like 30 million light years away, like that, what does that mean? It, but if I give you a string and I say, okay, let's make our own scale where a galaxy is 100,000 light years across and you need to fit 26 galaxies okay, in between the next galaxy. That 26 times. That's all the way over there, God. And you have to walk One. way down a street. We're going to be here all day. We're going to be sitting way over there. Okay, let's see. So we're going to have to go all around the room. You really get the picture. We're almost done. Almost done. We're only at 12. We got to go 26. <laughs> Um, and that's why I don't, we don't just tell them the, the number and leave it at that, because you don't get a wow factor. You just get like, oh, big number, okay. Big number. And this is the closest galaxy you saw? This is the closest, so what we're going to do. The real reason why I joined YAA was because I was going to 
leave high school? Like, I decided I wanted to be homeschooled. I honestly must say that YHA A has brightened my future because before YHA A, I actually um, dropped out of school and I just got my GED. So at that time, I seen the Youth Astronomy Apprenticeship with MIT and I felt like it would be a great opportunity to make sure I still have deadlines, still interact with people, and that's why I joined. And after uh, getting my GED while I, I was in the program, it helped me realize that I had a lust for knowledge because I was exposed to something that I wouldn't be able to be exposed to really and I wasn't much exposed to. So being in YAA really helped me understand that, okay, wow, I really do like learning new things. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I learned something new today. I do teach to learn and I think that's one of the most rewarding parts. Like I love when they ask me, I'm happy if I know the knowledge to, to teach them facilitate the activity, but when they ask questions that I don't know sometimes, it's, it's rewarding because I get a chance to go research or do something. And so I'm getting to learn something which is weird, most people think, but yeah, it's amazing. And now I have this chance in which I can teach people about something in which they're probably, they probably would have never gotten in contact with, you know? So it's definitely something amazing.